Shalom. Kahalayim La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the elder apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. That's GMS. Peace and blessing to the Akim and a few Akwath across the four winds. This is your brother Batamaya from Great Millstone, Houston. Coming to you with a quick lesson. I got this from the brother uh, Manatha Zagba, the young elder in South Carolina, GMS, South Carolina uh, 08. It's all together. But I got this screenshot and he was, you know, going in on those that were, were amongst the body but now they are no longer in the fold but they're calling out other gods so he had the the grand marie <laughs> in the barber saw and when i go into the names and you'll see why it's pretty funny but you know it's, it's a scary thing to fall into the hands of the living power you have by shimmy i was just roughly paraphrasing hebrews 10 and 31 but remember the names brothers like the names are salvation you know lord willing I'll, I'll pull the precept on that but the title of this lesson is going to be these are not the names for salvation so these guys came up i don't want to say came up with you know through the greek you know through an, another deity you have a, a grand mark Mar. and uh it was funny to me when i first heard him i said a grandma a, a grandma what <laughs> Because these guys be talking about, you know, uh, smoking. You know, they were smoking around. Yahweh Shai, when he was walking the earth. Uh, it's just a lot of bugged out things. But the Heavenly Father, the Most High's name is Yahweh. He is, he exists, he to be. You know, he is the Father of Spirits. You know, he is the Ancient of Days. And then you have Apermento, which is supposed to be Yahweh Shai. Which Yahweh Shai means he saves, he salvation, he redeems. That's the names that you need to call on. And then they came up with a name, you know, through their, you know, off spirit of Barbello, which is supposed to be the the Holy Spirit, which is Rakako Dash or, or, you know, Rakai being spirit, Kodash being holy. But, you know, I just want to bring out a few precepts and kind of go into it. You know, it struck my spirit uh, going into the Lord's Prayer. Matthew 6 and 9, after this manner, therefore ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So when you go into this word, hallowed be, uh, Strong's G, in the Greek, 3, 7, hagiazo. And I just wanted to grab a, a couple points um, to render or acknowledge. Acknowledging the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Uh, to separate from profane things and dedicate to the most high power Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. To purify, to cleanse externally, to purify by expiation, free from the guilt of sin, to purify eternally by renewing of the soul, uh, consecrate things to Yahweh, dedicate people to Yahweh by Shem Shah. But to we have to acknowledge those names. Those names are salvation. We can't get salvation without calling upon the names. Definitely have to go through Yahweh Shah in order to get to Yahweh. Matthew 6 and 10. Thy kingdom come that will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Now they were speaking on all these different heavens and things like that. You know, there's a, a spiritual, uh, a heavenly name, I'm sorry. <laughs> According to them, a heavenly name and an earthly name. How could a Greek name be more heavenly than the, the Hebrew? You can read that in the prologue of uh, Sirach 1 and 1. Things, just roughly paraphrasing, uh, words other than the Hebrew tongue has the most power. Like calling upon Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, you know, the water Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and for the Holy Spirit for giving those, those names back to us, for refreshing those. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 4. Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? <laughs> what is his name? And what is his son's name, if thou can tell? That goes to show you that there's a separation. And they, their name, there's nothing above their names. You know, the name is Yahweh, which is the Heavenly Father. He is, he exists, he to be. Yahweh Shai is the son's name. He's salvation. He's redeemer. He saves. 
uh, Acts chapter 4 verse 12 and neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved there's no other salvation unless you're calling upon those names Second Timothy chapter Second Timothy chapter three verse fourteen, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. So you have to be assured. That's part of the counting the cost. You have to be, you know, assured in your mind that you have by Shimmy Shah, you know, are those heavenly and earthly names in earth as it is in heaven. And then let me go into that word assured. Strong's G4104. Peace to you. To make faithful, render trustworthy, to make firm, establish, to be firmly persuaded of. If you're firmly persuaded that those are the names, you're not going to stray away from those names. You know, Lord willing, the, the Holy Spirit is upon you, you know, through the spirit and power of you, how about Shimmy Shah? That you do receive those names. But you have to be assured that those are the names. And if you're not assured, I mean, that means the Lord isn't dealing with you. Especially if you're not calling upon the names. Especially if you know the names and you're not teaching those names. You're not pushing forth those names. You're showing forth that you're ashamed of the names. Next precept I had. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 21. My son, fear thou the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and the king, and meddle not with them that are given to change. So these guys change from calling upon Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Now they're saying these Greek entities. They're saying their names and still mixing in the Hebrew. Like that's that's a lot of confusion. Saying uh Grand Markamar Bahashim Aboramento Bahashim Barbello. Like that's confusion. That's changing. As you're going from Greek to Hebrew, Greek to Hebrew, Greek to Hebrew. And then the last few precepts I had, and I'm going to close it out. First John chapter 2, verse 19. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. So these guys are outside of the church. They're not with us. They're not fighting, you know, on the battlefield. They become an op. They're fighting against us. They're, they're fighting against the name. Just like in the, the precept we just read, they're, they're pretty much subject to change. What was that in Proverbs? They are given to change. The Lord gave, gave them over to change. I mean, that's not a good sign. And then the last precept I had was Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. So we're supposed to avoid, you know, men like this, you know, females that have, that's calling upon different names. Yah, Yahweh. No, we separate and we, we, we marking you for division because you're causing division amongst, you know, the congregation, the Lord's flock. But we know that the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yah Shai is, you know, he has the deceive and the deceiver. And that matter of fact, let me get this one. And I'll close it out with this. Elder Brother's been going into this a lot. Revelation 22 and 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. So those that are filthy, you know, and unjust, unrighteous, we 
we're going to continue to do that. The law allow you, you know, to be filthy, unjust, unrighteous. Because we understand that you're coming back in your lot. So, Lord willing, this was edifying. Call Allah Yim Lai, Yahweh, by Shemi, Yahweh Shai, by Shemi, Kakodash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, a ball, ball.